what's up everybody here with a review of my macbook pro with retina display this is the baseline model pretty much it comes with the i5 processor clocked in at 2.5 gigahertz 8 gigs of ram and 128 gig hard drive and for me this is my first step into the macbook pro line because i've always been a little hesitant when it comes to macbooks i guess because if i don't know if i'm going to like it or not but hey now it's time to just take a chance and just see how things go but this is pretty much the 13 inch version and one of the reasons why i got it because it's real light and heavy when it comes to portability when you go to traveling and things like that but let's go on and take a look at the macbook pro right now and just see how thin it is and some of the ports on the side is an sd card a HDMI and USB port on the right hand side of the machine on the other side you have two Thunderbolt ports a USB port and headphone jack two microphone ports and a MagSafe 2 connector and I wanted something available when I go on traveling because you know a lot of times you want to do some work check some emails and a tablet just can't cut it for me I'd rather prefer a computer any day over a tablet and I can still do my work while I'm out on the road with some video editing or some After Effects. I want to play with that for a little bit. But one of the things I notice about the MacBook Pro is that I'm not a great uh, typer and thing like that. So these keys are really good when it comes to typing. I can't really. I'm not a great typer. I have to look at the keys when I type. But it's real simple. I like, kind of like the keys and the trackpad. And the screen is one of the main attractions for me because it, the resolution is a 2560 by 1600. And the screen resolution is really great when it comes to watching youtube videos some netflix anything like that and just when i really enjoy using this computer is when i'm out um traveling and things like that and just can pull it out pop it up real quick and it just starts right on up and mac os the os itself is really interesting as far as using it with the multiple desktops you can really do a lot of multitasking with this os and i really enjoy it and you know it comes with a backlit keyboard like any premium laptop you buy these days but one of the main things i notice when i come to using the os it is a bit of a learning curve because of the gestures you can do with the os and things like that. the mac os system works for this 13 inch display but i just feel like it's meant to be displayed or one of those thunderbolt displays those 27 inch displays and things like that it just seems like this this OS is meant to be displayed on a real giant screen. They say you're supposed to get nine hours on a charge. That's with 50% brightness. For me, I don't keep it on 50% brightness. So for me, I roughly got about six hours on a charge. That's with YouTube, Netflix, some uh, Premiere Pro, some After Effects, all those types of things I like to do with my computers. I definitely got about six hours. And that's not bad on a single charge on a battery without being plugged in. So that's really solid for me as far as a charge and a battery because some of the PCs that I've owned, I roughly got maybe two and a half hours, three hours on a charge from a battery. So this is definitely a step up. I'm really looking forward to seeing what I could do with this MacBook Pro. I'm enjoying every bit of it right now. I've been using it for about a week now just to see how this OS can um, hold up to what some of the things I like to do. Because when I have a computer, I usually use it to the max. I do everything I can and just get the most out of this computer. But it can hold this and hold its own when it comes to video editing, After Effects, all those types of things I like to use on a daily basis and just trying to make this YouTube production better every day. Overall, I definitely recommend this MacBook Pro because MacBook Air has a, a low voltage um, CPU in there where you can just do basic things. You can do video editing and things like that, with it, but this is just more for your money when it comes to the processor and things like that when it comes to video editing, Adobe After Effects and other things you'd like to do as far as like graphic design, more processing power. So I definitely recommend this one. I know Apple just released or didn't release or just announced a new MacBook. It's not an Air or a Pro, it's just a MacBook where it's pretty much the lightest computer you can get out there but the processor alone is like a 1.1 gigahertz and I definitely say for how much they offering for that one you get more for your money for this one it's just the same price for this one but you just get more for your money you get a more of a processor same amount of RAM they get you bigger hard drive on that one but this one you just get more of that CPU that everybody wants nowadays for me personally I just use that all the time but overall I definitely recommend a MacBook Pro like this one because it's real light you can take wherever you want and it's just something when you want a computer and you just want to be able to do everything you can do at home on the road kind of but not to the full potential as you can as a desktop of course this is the next best thing in my opinion now there's some PCs that's out here but this 13 inch display the processor and all everything that comes in it I definitely re recommend this one but I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed my little review and my opinions of the MacBook Pro and how I'm taking this new leap into the whole macOS 
ecosystem and things like that leave a comment down below let me know if you like macbooks or you just prefer pcs and look like i always say in my videos there's a place in my heart for everything you know i have no favoritism towards one thing i may enjoy one thing over another but i'm always willing to learn new things out here so leave a comment down below hit that like button also it also helps out a lot if you like to see more videos like this and fitness i also do fitness videos hit that subscribe button and definitely check it out if you want some fitness tips or some um, new things you could try at the gym some food or you want some information about some technology some stereos computers cameras all types of things i do it all here hope you enjoy this and i will see you guys in my next video